Good morning, everybody. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. Oh, Christmas tree. Vlogmas day two, it's Friday, so there's just lots of good things going. I had a lovely morning, I uploaded my first Vlogmas, and you guys are flooding the comments already, it makes me so happy. If you guys didn't know, I'm vlogging every day until December 14th, so get hype. I also did want to do a shout out, I am doing a giveaway on my TikTok. I'm giving away a Dyson Airwrap, the long one, um, because that's like a coveted item. I have one and I wanted to give back to you guys in some sort of way. I will be doing more giveaways, so if you don't have a TikTok, do not worry, I'll be doing more. But this one, all you have to do to enter the giveaway ends Monday, December 12th. So you have like another week or so. Go follow me on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn and comment on the TikTok I have pinned of Ryan and I putting ornaments on my Christmas tree and say your favorite thing about the holidays and then you'll be entered and if you win I will follow you and DM you and we will go from there so that's why you have to be following me because you have to like be following each other to message on TikTok anyways today's gonna be a fun day we're starting our day with a workout um, this is a different kind of workout for me because I'm working out at the aloe yoga like studio it's not we're not doing a yoga class though. it's like the aloe gym I think I don't really know it's in Soho I'm really excited so my friends Audrey Lauren and Bridget they're doing this group workout and I think Audrey organized it and she invited me, which was really, really nice. So I'm excited. I think they give us all matching workout sets and then we do like a 45 minute workout together. Um, and we were all texting like, oh my gosh, I'm so drained, like whatever. And apparently it's not like a super intense workout. We're gonna have fun. We'll make it fun. And those are amazing. They're all very bubbly fun gals. So I feel like it's gonna be fine. Me saying gals makes me sound like a mom. Like I know my podcast is called Gals on the Go, but like there's some great gals. Like <laughs> it's like something my mom would say. Anyways, so I just put on like a random workout set for now because I will be changing it upon arrival But I'm in my layering era because it's so important. So I just put on a long sleeve from Zara over top And then I'm gonna obviously wear a jacket And then I'm gonna wear these shoes. I've had them for a minute and I literally forgot about them because they were like in a drawer um, But they're from APL do my crew socks here live love crew socks honestly um, and then after that, I'll have a little free time in Soho, so maybe we'll bop around. And then I'm going to go to Bubby's in Tribeca. It's a great restaurant. Um, and meet up with one of my friends from high school who's in town. Her name's Reagan. If you guys watched me in high school, like my weekend in my life, you would definitely recognize her. Um, we were really close in high school. And, and in college, we visited. She went to Auburn, so I'd visit her for the Auburn-Georgia games. She would visit me when it's at Georgia, etc. So... Um, I, but I haven't seen her in a minute, so I'm really excited to see her. We're gonna go to Bubby's, and then I'll come home, I have a call, we'll do some home things, and then tonight's gonna be fun too. So, we will just see where the day takes us, to be honest. I'm just, I'm gonna walk to Aloe because I, I'm just loving walking right now, and it'll kind of like warm me up for the workout, I think. I, I think, I think. We're all changing right now with Lauren, Bridget, and Audrey. Vlogmas day two. And we all got our green on. I'm like really obsessed with this set. Love it. It's so cool. Guys, we're giving Grinch. It's giving Grinch. Oh 
It's only three o'clock, but this it gets so dark so early here in New York now. The workout was so fun. It was such a great group. We got these really fun green sets, and then I walked over to Bubby's with my friends, and I didn't really vlog. It's like we literally hadn't seen each other in so long, so I was trying to catch up. My friend Reagan was on the hunt for like a designer bag, but like wanted to get it from like the Real Real or Rebag or one of those places. So I went with her for a little bit, and then I was like, I have to go. I have a call. But it was really nice. It was a nice day in Soho, and she's like, she hasn't been in New York in so long, so she's kind of like, be like, oh my god, the magic of the city. Like, she was so happy to be here, and it just put me in a really good mood. Um, now I kind of have, I have stuff to do, but I have the rest of the day until tonight to myself, which is always nice. Um, I literally do this thing where I'm like, okay, I'll hang all these coats up at the same time later. My coat closet is literally right there. But I don't. So yeah, I have a call in 20 minutes. I don't think it'll be too long, but I am going, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to shower. I'll probably shower after my call. My health anxiety, I will be honest with you guys, has been really bad recently. Like, literally the smallest thing could happen and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have this. Like, I never used to be like that either. And I'm a healthy girl. Like, I know I am, I'm really thankful I am, at least I think I am. But then I get in my head that I have something, so. I was sick like three weeks ago, like completely fine. I'm not congested, anything, at least up here I'm not. And for the last few days, kind of in and out, not consistent. I've had this like pressure kind of right here and I kind of feel it in my tooth too. And I was talking to my therapist about it because I talked to her a lot about my health anxiety and I guess she used to work in the medical field. So it's kind of helpful. Not that she can like tell me what I have, but like, she's like, do you feel it in your tooth too? I was like, yeah. And she was like, typically that's like sinus you like feel, it's like your sinuses are clogged and it's typical for it to only be on one side or the other. So I'm like, okay, and then I'm like, my dad's a physician, so I'm calling him today. Like, I literally in my head, I'm like, oh my God, like there's something wrong with my brain. Like I get so, it's it's crazy. Um, and so I constantly, thank God for my family and friends, like I'm constantly asking people like, do you think I have this? Like, but my, also the thing with my health anxiety, I'm like terrified to go to the doctor. And my dad's like, literally go, to like a clinic or something and you know talk to them because I'm not there to like see you <sighs> but that makes me anxious and it's just this cycle always like when I thought I had a problem with my ovaries or something because my period was like lasting forever I finally went to the gynecologist and they checked me out and they did a test and everything was fine and I felt so much better after anyways my dad was like maybe take a hot shower which I'm gonna do because I'm literally like I'm not blowing my nose or anything um, but I was like, well, I have a facial steamer. He was like, it probably won't work because like it's so back there, but like a hot shower or a steamer might feel good. And, like maybe open something up. Like I feel like if I try to blow my nose, there's nothing. I have had this steamer forever. I had it in college. It's from, oh wait, it, things did change though. I like feel it more here now. I don't know. I hope it's that. But then he was like, you probably have to take like Sudafed. I'm going to, I'm going to go to the clinic. I just like don't have time today. Which is like so bad. Please don't freak me out in the comments either. Don't tell me I have something. <laughs> I like get so nervous about things. I know I'm okay and like the weather, I went from hot Florida to freezing cold Maine to like in between New York. The pressure of being in airplanes, I feel like it's all that. But it's not like constant, it's just kind of in and out. Like it's definitely not that bad right now. I didn't even have it this morning. And then when I was sitting at brunch, I was like, oh my God, this feels so good. Also it's probably really good for my skin. Oh, I forgot I have glow screen on. I should probably take it off, oh well. But anyways, <laughs> I was gonna not talk about it because sometimes I get nervous that someone's gonna comment something that scares me. But you guys always give really good suggestions and make me feel validated. So if any of you struggle with this, comment down below because I get it. It's literally just anxiety, but always health related. Um, but I worked out this morning, you know, I wasn't even, now I'm not even thinking about my heart. If you guys have been following me for a while, I get, I have experienced panic attacks, so sometimes when I feel panic attacks, your heart races and then I think something's wrong with my heart, but I'm just like anxious. So I've like struggled with that when it's like more cardio based workouts. And so this morning we did the workout and there was some cardio in there and I wasn't even thinking about my heart because I was thinking about my head, you know, like there's, <laughs> and I was fine. So it just goes to show and I try to remind myself of that. So anyways, I know it's a very niche thing to deal with, but I thought I'd share it with you guys. So I'm going to do this a little bit before my call. 
My sweet dad is sending me articles like 10 ways to relieve sinus pressure and it says you can have sinus pressure without like cold symptoms. And that's literally what I feel right now. Usually I don't like to Google, but today the Googling's help. They always tell you not to Google because it'll make you scared, but this is like ways to relieve it. And in the article is saying like exactly how I feel. So that makes me feel better. And it says steam humidifier. I actually just got a fan for my bedroom. I've had it in my apartment for like two weeks and I haven't opened it yet because it, then it, of course it got cold. Um, but it also, it's like a Dyson fan and it has a humidifier in it. So my dad was like, you should finally open up the box and use the humidifier and like humidify your room. I was like, oh, good call. That was a good little facial on its own. Now we go Asha. Gotta cultivate the vibes again. My legs are already sore from today, so that's good. I just know I'm not gonna be able to walk st upstairs tomorrow, so I need to plan accordingly for that. I don't want this candle to end. It's the fresh balsam from Bath and Body Works. It smells so good. And then as you guys saw, this was today's advent calendar. Holly Berry. So cute. I don't even know if it produces any scent, but I'm enjoying it. My Stanley cup really just makes me drink so much water. So it is worth it. There are like knockoffs, knockoffs. Like it's just like a style of cup. Like it doesn't have to be Stanley. Um, looking back, I didn't need to get the Stanley one, but I was influenced. Oh, beauty, 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 beauty. But it also said if you have sinus pressure to stay hydrated. I feel like anything ever in life, drink more water. I'm okay with that. But I realized I didn't take my supplements today either. This is the only way I can take my supplements is if I actually like a week before, like I did these all yesterday, plan out. What's today? Friday. So I can literally just do this. Because if I have to take all the bottles out every single day, I'm not going to do it. Fun fact, if you guys are scared to um, swallow pills, it's just like a medical episode, huh? My dad taught me this trick. When you take pills, if you're like scared, it's going to like go down the wrong pipe or something. If you duck your head completely like this, like you put it in your mouth to take the water and then just swallow it this way, it basically, I think, blocks the other windpipe so it like has to go down the right one. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Sorry, Dad. But so now I do that because I never really have an issue with swallowing pills, but I know people do. And I live alone, so it's like if I choked, like, this is so morbid, but makes me feel better. Mm, I don't take them all. Mm. My dad's gonna be so proud if he's watching this. So, if you're scared to take pills or you don't love it, try that hack. I just realized I didn't make my bed today. It's not not unlike me, but I figured during Vlogmas I would definitely be even better about it because I love a morning montage. I tried making my bed a different way this time. I put like my big decorative ones in the back. I don't know. I'm just trying it out. And then tucking the sheets and then folding this over. I'm making no sense right now. And these pillows chop chop in the front. Yeah. What do we think? Every morning I have to pick up my Kindle because at night I literally read a few pages and then I get so tired I can barely even I don't want to ruin the tiredness and I want to like keep my eyes kind of start to close So I'll literally turn over and like just like throw my Kindle down, which I know is bad But yeah, I've got all my essential oils here. This has been killing it when I go to bed just to smell the lavender It's so good. Ooh, maybe I'll put some on my forehead right now. Oh I forgot, This is not a roller <laughs> Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. Wow, this light is like hitting. <laughs> it's hitting. I guess I say that a lot because when I was home for Thanksgiving, I was eating something that like I only eat when I go home at a restaurant. So my mom, my mom goes, does that hit? I was like, do I say that a lot? She's like, yeah. But it hits. I forgot I got this mug and I literally bought a mug yesterday. But I, whenever I'm with Ryan's family, they all like, have these beautiful pottery mugs and they're just they are so lovely to hold i just love the way they made so i went on etsy and i bought myself one i'm really excited i love the green it's kind of christmas but also just goes with my apartment because i have the greenery so maybe i'll drink my morning coffee out of there tomorrow for some reason mugs have just always been my, one of my favorite things to buy and it's such a problem because i have too many when i used to live with delaney in college she'd be like literally you can't buy another mug if you buy a mug you have to get rid of one and, like she was literally my mother like i had to put my 
Christmas one over here, but it looks so cute. I should have used that this morning. I guess I was like half asleep. I wasn't thinking. Oh, I need to wash this first. But Oh, and the, the florist that I went to yesterday to get those flowers, they gave me this too. I was like, that's very nice. I'm actually not even sure what kind of flowers these are, but they're starting to bloom just so beautifully or open up, should I say. It's time to shower. I haven't even showered yet today. I need to like thaw out lol at all of my products when i first moved here this whole shelf was full and like these were the only products i used but of course you always accumulate things but all of these products have a purpose i'm telling you each and every one of them oh my gosh i am so cozy a hot shower and then my barefoot dreams robe I got so barefoot dreams robes are on size. I think it's like one two and three So three or they probably have more than three, but I got a three So it's like so long on me, which I like because normally the robes they're like knee length I think but I was like I want to have it long so turn on my light Red vibes, I don't want to get too sleepy green <laughs> Maybe I could do like a soft Orange yellow. Yeah, that's good I am going to make some hot tea because that just sounds nice and I just need to use my new mug. Something to add to your Christmas list if you like drinking tea or just need hot water for things, this Smeg kettle uh, is everything. If I can, hold on. There we go. I adore it so much. It looks so good on my counter and I use it a lot. I don't even use it just for tea. I feel like there's just other things I'll need hot water for and it's just so nice. It heats up the water so fast That's where I keep all my coffees and teas. It's probably not the best situation, but It works for me for now. Oh my god. I forgot I had I should probably drink one Just to like that was one of the things in the article <laughs> Me I'm like he um, But yeah, we're gonna make some chamomile tea. I don't need any caffeine. I have a lot of energy right now, but I'm gonna use this mug and then I'll use my coffee that mug tomorrow But this one's always fun because you can like see through it. Well, I haven't used it yet. <laughs> I'm like this one's always fun It's the little things in life like a new mug that makes you happy All right. Here we go Cute Anthropology, baby. Just got it, so I know they have it. Dad, can you say something um, to the to the girls? I'm vlogging right now. Um, hi, girls. <laughs> he says hi, girls. Thanks, Dad. Love you. Okay, love you too. Good night. See ya. Bye. Um, eating a banana. My second banana of the day. I hope that's okay. Um, I just set up my fan. I have the door closed because it's a humidifier. So when I go to bed tonight. I think there's lots of benefits to humidifier. I'm like, is my hair gonna get all messed up? But I'm glad I finally opened the box <laughs> and did it. It was so dumb of me. And it literally was basically already put together. I just had to fill the water tank. It comes with this remote and you can download an app too. But I'm like, how serious do I need to get about this? So this is purifier and this is a humidifier. So and it can get, if I'm like hot in here, I can put the fan up super high. So that's good. It's also nice because I like to sleep in the cold. Like I think it's cold in here, but if Ryan ever does sleep over, or when, not if, when he does sleep over, he like lit in the middle of the night, he'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Like, can you open a window? And I'm like, it is so cold in here. Does anyone else experience this? Like I'm so cold and I like to be in the cold and he's like, I'm sweating. So this will be good when he's here. I can just crank it up with the, with the fan, it's just the little things. You know, it's growing up, right? Getting excited about a fan, right? Just folding up this blanket here. Tonight, I am going out on the town. I haven't like had a night where I went out in New York City in honestly a minute, where it's not like an event or like dinner. Um, Cause I did sober November, kinda. I drank on Thanksgiving, but for the most part I did. And I think I felt good, I don't really know. But, and I just like wasn't in the mood to drink, but and I probably like shouldn't drink, I'm probably not gonna drink too much because of my head. I don't wanna just like set myself back here, but you know, a little cocktail here and there. 
Gonna go check out Pete's Tavern. Did I already say this? I don't remember. I'm gonna go check out Pete's Tavern with my friend Daly. She was one of my hallmates and just best friends from college and she recently moved to the city this summer and we just like haven't hung out really and we were like that needs to change so we're gonna have a little dinner drinks night. We're going to Pete's Tavern because apparently it's all decorated for Christmas. So that just sounds amazing. Like why not like cozy Christmas vibes and they have like tavern pub food i think i think daily said she's been and if we we couldn't get a reservation so if we can't like get a table when we get there we'll just walk somewhere else there's stuff around it and then my friend christian who was ryan's roommate last year and he's still one of our good friends he's having a birthday party tonight i think he like rented out the back room of a bar i'm not really sure the name i have to check my phone um but yeah so he'll be there ryan's other roommate will be there ryan's out of town i said in yesterday's vlog but i'm gonna go bring daily and a lot of people from Georgia I know will be there, so that'll be nice. It's always nice when someone has a birthday or like rents out a back room, and it's never usually expensive. In New York City, they usually don't charge you, especially if you do it from like 9 to 11 is typically what people do because they don't, they wouldn't make a lot of money otherwise. So they'll let people have birthday parties, and basically they just require that people spend money during those two hours. They typically don't make you pay anything like up top. Like that's what I've done for my birthday parties, um, unless you like pay for a tab or something. So... We're gonna go there, it's nice because then you don't have to worry, what I was saying was, it's nice because then you don't have to wait in lines and then you just like know where you're going and you have a plan, so it's just so lovely. Hello, we meet again, welcome to my closet. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to fix my hair later, but we're just gonna do uh, this for now. Again, I think tomorrow's vlog is gonna have an everyday makeup routine, so get hype. Makeup is like having its moment right now, but this is not sponsored. Um, I love Peace Out Skin Care, and I was really amazed by these. These are the Acne Day Dots, and they're like sheer little, they're like, you know, pimple patches, but apparently, I haven't tried them yet, they're like so small that you can put them on and then apply makeup on it, or not, and you like can't see it. So I'm going to put that to the test. That is amazing, because I've had this pimple, and then on my chin right here, and it just like won't go away. I feel like this is perfect. Huzzah. Also, I need to spray some Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It like wakes me up. Mm, that's nice. That's very nice. I also been doing this thing where I do my brows before my makeup. My self tan <laughs> is so bad, but it looks good. I think it's okay, you know? The one thing I do like about the winter time <laughs> is that, you know, you don't see as much of your skin. So you can kind of like get away with more, I feel, at least. Anyways, yeah, I like to do my brows before my makeup because then I can like really like shape them exactly how I want. And then if you already have your foundation on or whatever face makeup, it like makes lines on your forehead. It's crazy. Anyways, I'm going to finish, get ready, and then we'll pick out an outfit together. Okay, just in my makeup, I have the acne day dot on. You can't really see it. I'm very impressed. What to wear, what to wear. I'm being drawn to the black long sleeve section. I have like a good old turtleneck. This has like fluffy sleeves. I think I have like a black long sleeve with like cutouts, except I also want to wear that tomorrow for the Georgia game, knowing me. What's this? Oh, I love this top. I wore this in Nashville. It's from a firm. It fits so well. That actually is a possible contender. That's short sleeve. It's pretty chilly out there today. Now that the sun's gone. Mm, this bodysuit's pretty. It's like a brown one, but I don't know. Oh, and this pink top is fun. Or I could wear like red because I'm going to the Christmas bar. Hmm. I feel like I'm vibing with the shirt. I wonder if it's gotten humid in here yet. I think so, maybe. Okay, so I have this top. As for bottoms, I immediately think about like jeans. But I could do like some leather pants or I have fun like cargo pants, but then it's like Kim Possible, so you, I would have to wear like, I have black cargo pants. Where are those? Wait, are those what these are right here? These are from Zara, I haven't worn them yet, but I have them in a beige color that I wear all the time. 
This can be a moment. Just all black is sometimes just so easy, but it looks so chic and put together. I can't stop wearing this black trench from NAKD. However, if I wore this, I feel like I'd literally need a scarf. But then it's like when you're standing in a bar, you don't want to hold everything. And I don't know if this is warm enough. I'm literally going full on all black here with like black booties. I feel like I'll literally need to bring a scarf though. I've never really done this before going out, but we're gonna give it a shot. I put all of my, my all of my clothes, my pants and my shirt that I'm gonna wear tonight in the dryer, question mark? To see if it warms it up, because I just went to put on the shirt and it was like cold, it was like that scuba material, I don't know, it was just cold. So I'm gonna put it in for like a minute or two and get dressed and hopefully it'll be warm. Okay, let's <laughs> give. Eh, like didn't really do much. It wasn't in there long enough. Oh my God, and now it's kind of wet. I literally didn't even dry anything today. Oh well, you learn. I guess the answer is don't do this. I do this sometimes with like my robes, like my Barefoot Dreams robe at night and it works, but maybe it just wasn't meant to be for this material and that's okay. <laughs> such a fun night I caught up with so many people i'm like kind of tipsy and i had two drinks so i had the fireball shot when we first got there daily and i we like had so much fun we had dinner at pete's chatted and then i didn't vlog at the second place went to kingston hall it was a good vibe in there and i saw christian all of his friends and i found out a lot of us are going to the same place tomorrow to watch the georgia game so i'm really happy about that i will see them all tomorrow it's midnight, literally like on the dot. I think I walked my apartment at 12 a.m. I'm gonna take off my makeup, get in bed, and hopefully wake up feeling good. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching Vlogmas Day 2. See you guys tomorrow.